All right, Cosimo, back over to you. Perfect. Wonderful. Hi, everybody. Hope you had a nice 20 minutes and um, would love to hear. Thanks for the comment, by the way, from Donald. And um, who, who wants to share how you could use, how you use the six Ds for yourself, for somebody you talk to, or what experience you had? Well, Cosimo, I thought this was brilliant because I've heard this before, but I never thought of it in the context of somebody else. I only thought of it of the context of me. <laughs> so when it's really, when in this Eric Worre training that we did yesterday, he was talking about um, onboarding and launching a new business and giving them assignments and, you know, really listening to what they want. And this is so good because if you, if you really help them help yourself to understand their desire and, you know, what they've decided to do and then listen to what they declare, you know, how fast they want to go, what they want to accomplish and then how much they're willing to struggle. How devoted are they to this project? And then, um, you know, the, uh, if they're willing to go through the personal growth necessary to accomplish what they want to accomplish. And then the results are going to be whatever they, you know, to deliver. Maybe they, maybe they're inspired by a trip or recognition or a paycheck or, um, you know, or, or, or something like that or a rank. So anyway, it was really fascinating to, to think about this from, from our prospects perspective. It was very helpful. So thank you. You're welcome. I love your brainstorming uh, thoughts and how you put it all together. Perfect. Somebody else who could apply it. Yeah, let me tell you, I love this too. I, I would, I'm thinking about how this can uh, apply to the decision that we have with our prospects when they're making decisions about what, where they want to go too, through the whole process, but particularly um, helping them when we're developing that tactical and emotional close, you know, for example, if people are like, well, I'm not quite ready, you could say, well, what, what do you need to, in, you know, to uh, make a good informed decision? So you can lean in on this outline to really inform your, your questions. And I thought you made it such a great point about the quality of an answer comes from the quality of our questions. That was brilliant too. So thank you for a great training. Really great. Thank you, Peg. Who else wants to share? Well, mine's really different. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was in that Eric Worre thing yesterday and we told our story and I, and, and like the second time we did it, it was just great. Everybody loved it. And the third time we did it, it was like I felt attacked <laughs> for the same thing I was doing before. Maybe I extended something. So I woke up this morning like, oh, my God, you know, just really confused about my story and everything. And by using these, uh, these Ds, you know, I, I got clear on what I wanted to do about it. So I didn't feel trapped again. And this has just been like an answer to a prayer this morning. <laughs> you know, I, really, so I feel good. so bad. I thought, oh God, I'm just not cut out for this. And <laughs> oh, this is a real different track. So but, yeah, and I would it. always normally think of this as the other person, you know. So this was uh, just good for me. Okay, wonderful. Okay, we. I think we have uh, 30 seconds left. For somebody who wants to share a very quick one, and then we are ready to rock and roll this day. Here's a quick one, Cosmos. Um, one of the more understated things that, that I get from this uh, call is listening to uh, Cindy's ability to utter her thoughts and have clarity. So that that's a very inspirational thing. And, and one of the things that's very important to me is being able to have clarity of thought and not be conflicted. So every day we get a chance to learn how to do that. 
and it's wonderful. I thank you. Thank you forever for that and appreciate it. Perfect. Maybe as a last sentence, what I will add to this, um, and the time is over already, but the last sentence is, if you write them down, we will get better and better and better on doing it. At the first time, the brainstorming will take forever, but then we will get better and better. And if maybe we have a follow up and after six months, we go again in our notes and say, wow, what did I wrote down about him? And it's some kind of feeling it will touch them on a deeper level. So enjoy doing it. I love to do it and uh, see you tomorrow on the same training. Bye everybody. Thank you, Tasmos. You're welcome. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you so much.